60 feet, six inches with Jake Arrieta. Um, you ever smile? Occasionally, days I don't pitch uh, <laughs> is normally when you see me smile, but uh, yeah, I will occasionally. Besides baseball, is there anything else you enjoy? Man, during the season, downtime with the kids, I like to play some golf if I can. Um, it's, it's hard to work things in during the year, though. Legendary for your workouts. What's the craziest thing you do? Probably jumping on uh, standalone physio balls from a standstill. Uh, Obviously, that, I don't know what a physio ball is. You know, big, it looks like a balloon, uh, thick rubber, but I kind of shut that down a few years ago. Um, but some I enjoy. Pressed juice, green juices. You ever put anything bad in your body? A lot of Ben and Jerry's. Uh, uh, half baked Ben and Jerry's, cookie dough. Uh, that's my, yeah, that's my, uh, my fault right there. You won the Cy Young Award. You know that there's four other guys that won the Cy Young yeah. Award. Can you name them? We got Suter, we got Fergie, Maddox, myself. I hit there's one other guy. <laughs> Who's the fifth? I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm right <laughs> oh, that's here. My, that's my fault. That's my fault. All right. That's 60 feet 6 inches with Jake Arietta. I would have swore you had something to do with that. <laughs> I didn't. But I, he just went up the charts. I already liked the guy, but now I really like him. <laughs> I spent an hour with him at a session at the Cubs convention back in January, mm -hmm. and it was titled Cy Young Award Winners. <laughs> we talked about winning it for an hour in front of I don't know how many fans. And when he did that, right off the bat, I'm like, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to kill this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna get him. He was just having fun. Uh, you know, and, and, and the fun part about doing those things, as you did with Matt Holliday and, and Dougie, you you know, you know how much fun Billy Hamilton had doing that. You you see a lighter side of those guys. Yeah, I think the other part is they they enjoy not talking hardcore baseball all the time and just keeping it loose the way you did with uh, with Joe Madden. I mean, Joe actually told us after we did that and during batting practice how much fun it was. I mean, you don't hear many managers, players, people in uniform say that they enjoy the interview. It's, it's part of the job, but. Fowler, good eye. Let's go back to Adnan in the clubhouse. But we still want to know who had bigger biceps, though, Arietta or Sutt. As for Max Scherzer, Tim Kirchner, he is dealing for the Nats against the Phillies. Well, that was well, he deals a lot of nights, and when he locates that stuff, there is no chance of anybody hitting him. When he misses location, people take him out of the park. 10 Ks through six. He's looking good. Back to you, Boo. Sutt, do you want to address that? You know, that, that wasn't a good career move for me, walking alongside him with a, you know, Sleeveless yeah. T-shirt there. How do you not know what a physio ball is, by the way? Have you ever jumped up on top of one? Absolutely not. It's absurd, like that he would even think about doing that. But you know that you didn't know what a physio ball was. I, I do now. He pointed it out to me when we went back into the trainer's room. I mean, how do you jump on top of a huge no round idea. ball and and not not hurt yourself? Yeah. Oh, well, he cut that out. I'm sure. Uh... You know the 300 million that's probably coming to him. You know that's a high risk move right there. You know, as you guys know, my my younger brother Bobby was in the Marine Corps and he was forced recon. I mean, the baddest of the bad, that kind of thing. If and I'm not saying anybody that ever played baseball could ever do what they do, but if there's somebody that might be able to, that I think you're looking at the guy right there. I mean, he is so into training and. Just obsessed with perfection. Yeah, the workouts are intense. He's intense. But he's turned it on one of the best pitchers in the game. Spring training, a little Pilates with our old Jessica Mendoza. Working on legs, working on core. That's ridiculous. And then just, yeah, hang upside down. Absolutely. Yeah, he is no joke. And that's just a bit of it. I mean, we had to wait on him today to get out of the weight room. A big aerobic day, the day after he pitches. Likes to get out and. Make sure that that endurance is there. 
And he emptied a tank last night in that seventh inning, didn't he? Bases loaded. And walked three guys in a row. Pinch hitter. That's ripped right field. But Thompson is there to collect it. Fires it back trying to get the double play and safe is Fowler. Yeah this is once again back to the positioning and Bolsinger really relying on his breaking pitches which kind of does Haywood a favor. He's much better at staying on that off speed stuff. Laces it to right. I watch Fowler. He gets out there very aggressively going deep. Has to get back. Almost got caught but I like the slide. He went inside kind of cut for the bag instead of going straight in which probably saved him to be able to be safe on that particular play. So watch his slide here. He goes inside and goes for the corner of the bag so he can avoid the tag from Kendra. And Dougie I like the confidence that you saw with Thompson out there. Ball hit right on the button. You know a lot of times that ball starts knuckling on you. There was no doubt in his mind when he was going to make the play and the awareness of trying to double up Fowler at first. Doesn't look right right now, does he? We're talking about a guy who had an oblique problem to start the season. A towering fly ball, center field. Peterson looking. Bag it. That one to go. Chris Bryant, his 12th. And it's given the Cubs a 2-1 lead. That scraped the sky. Well, this is going to the well one too many times. He got him that first at bat on the breaking pitch. This one he hangs. And with Brian has that slight uppercut swing, it is a perfect swing path for that pitch. And he made him pay and that's the in-game adjustments you're seeing from some of these young Cubs hitters. You got me once you're not going to fool me twice. Rizzo try to check his swing and he did says Jim Moore. Guys, we, we saw something here on the second pitch to Chris Bryant. Talked about the oblique and why he wasn't able to start the season in the rotation. He obviously he, he's feeling something at that point, and he looks like he's favoring something with his delivery. Two and one now. Watching that ball hit off the bat of Jason Hayward, that's when he went down to that knee. He got to start on the 18th. They sent him down on the 19th. Brought him back for the start on the 24th. I mean, you're just you're just hoping and praying that that goes away. You, this is your opportunity. The team's playing well, trying to complete a really really good road trip through the two National League Championship teams. I'm surprised the trainer didn't come out. I don't know if they saw it. I think they might have been watching Thompson chase down that fly ball like we were. Rizzo the other way, base hit. Well, it's been a struggle for him results wise of late. Last 15 coming in, just 122, but a solid single the other way. To the clubhouse, Adnan. All right, Boog, no physio balls here. Just hanging out with John Croc. Tigers, <laughs> Angels, and C.J. Crone breaks up Fulmer's no-hitter. Well, trying to mix up the lineup with Mike Sosha getting C.J. Crone that cleanup spot, and he comes through for him. 2 nothing right now in the seventh. Boog? All right, fellas, so Michael Fulmer will not throw the no-no out there at the Big A. Strike to Ben Zobrist. 
Going into last night, he had struck out swinging three times or 13 times in 211 plate appearances. Did it three times last night, already once tonight. I think a lot of that just has to go to the credit of Scott Casimir. Those guys played together several years. For a lot of that, Zobris was on the infield seeing every pitch that he threw. You, you know his repertoire. But like a lot of the other Cubs hitters, not able to do anything with it because of the command of that fastball. Zobris, the guy, is so tough because he just doesn't chase very often. But one of the things that he said. He's really been good at this year and been trying to do is staying off pitches down. You think about what hitters or pitchers do nowadays, teasing the bottom portion of the strike zone with pitches that look like strikes that eventually dive into the dirt or near the dirt. Rip the foul. Yeah, we talked to Joe Madden you know, last time we did the game, and he he was saying how Zobris has only two plate appearances he can even think of that he looked bad or looked badly on and that was certainly not the case last night uh, he's, he's almost identifying the pitches well before it gets halfway home I mean, he's been that locked in and he looked very jumpy last night his timing a little bit off on the go and AJ Ellis tag Rizzo is out good quick release on a bounce AJ Ellis throws out Rizzo yeah, this is a pretty good jump by Rizzo. He kind of stayed in motion and took right off. Kind of peeks in, but Ellis did a quick release, but the tag is, is critical right there. Where Seager is able to catch and tag very quickly, bring it back down. Awfully close play. Certainly worth reviewing for the Cubs, which I'm sure they're they're looking into right now. But does he get it down on his leg? Oof. Worth reviewing. You think so? Well, Definitely always check just in case. I wouldn't say I'd call the challenge. I'm saying they should be looking into it. Let's take one more look. I think if Joe Madden would have gotten any kind of a reaction from Anthony Rizzo, he would have put that on. I'm what going out there. Outstanding call there on the part of Paul Emmer. Microscopic. Yes. He looked and said, all right, nope. let, let that one go. Center field and Peterson, really good jump, Dougie. Beautiful. Jock Peterson tracks down that one. Couldn't track down this one, though, from Chris Bryant. And the Cubs have the lead. Taco Bell's $5 Cravings Deal. With a cheesy gordita crunch, burrito supreme, nachos, taco, and a Baja Blast. All the cravings one person can handle. Just $5. Only at Taco Bell. Something's going on in this town. I've seen things I can't explain. Outcast premieres Friday at 10, 9 central, only on Cinemax. NBA Finals, when the away team wins, things get interesting. And now, delicious. Because the first team to steal a road game will also steal a Doritos Locos Taco for everyone in America. Steal a game, steal a taco. Only a Taco Bell. Oh, looks like we missed most of the show. Yeah, and there's no way to restart it. With DirecTV, there is. You see, we got the power to turn back time, so let's restart the show that started at nine. And while we're at it, let's give you back your due and give her back the guy she liked before you. Hey, that's the power to turn back time. Get the ultimate all included bundle. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Discipline, drive, 
and determination got them here. And now, their lifetime dreams will become reality. Welcome to the Major League Baseball first year player draft. The road to the majors starts here. With the first selection. Live from MLB Network Studio 42. I think this kid's going to be a fabulous Major League player. The 2016 MLB Draft. Coverage begins June 9th on MLB Network and MLB.com. So here is Corey Seager as we go to the top of the four. 2-1 Cubs. And a curveball missing outside. Corey Seager. The former first round pick hails from North Carolina. And this guy looks like he is going to be some kind of player. He's already single tonight. We talked earlier about the Dodgers bringing him up last September. Bruce Bochy's always called that getting the clock started. You know, so many things that you have to get adjusted to to play the game at this level. Getting rid of that awe feeling that you have inside of you and recognizing and realizing that, hey, you know what? I, I can do this. I mean, Seeger is so calm. You, you know, you see him taking, these are tough pitches he's laying off, and he's not even striding or jumping or flinching. I mean, he's taking it with great poise and calm. And, you know, that's what why you see such a huge upside for this young hitter. Chase that one cutting down and away. Back to the studio, here's Adnan. All right, Vogus, Sutton Elders Day keep alternating here. So Tim Kirkton in the hot seat. Boston and Baltimore, Manny Machado, RBI single. One of three AL players this year with an OPS over 1,000, and he's filled in at shortstop beautifully. He's been incredible for those O's. And Chris Archer, unfortunately, Tim, the struggles continue. I can't figure this out, Adnan. He's got a wipeout slider, devastating stuff, and hasn't even been close to the same pitcher he was last year. Lorenzo Cain's RBI single, four. 1 Royals booth. Yeah, it's really been weird to watch Chris Archer. David Ross. I think between innings they were working on that mask, so he came out with the old school style helmet. Yeah, and that's and extremely mask. important for David Ross, as, as we all know. There's been a huge issue throughout his career with those foul tips. Well, he's dealt with concussions, no doubt. One of the things that we talked about last week when the Cubs played the Cardinals, that wristband that he wears there, and that Cub logo on it basically has the scouting reports in terms of just a, a thumbnail thumb notes uh, or thumbnail sketches on how to get guys out and it's especially useful in the late stages with bench players but he he actually jokingly said that part of the reason that he wears that thing is with all the concussions he has trouble remembering well that's a scary thought yeah you know, it's a scary thought to, to talk about memory as a young man but that is a high risk position. Make no mistake about it. You take a beating over your career. Ten straight retired by Lester. Biting down and in, and Thompson over the top of it. Trace Thompson was telling me before the game that he, Jock Peterson, Corey Seeger, and Alex Wood all rented a house together in LA and hang out together a lot. I think that's a great idea for young players. Little bouncer and foul ball. What's encouraging about some of the, the numbers he's putting up is how well he hits behind in the count. And, you know, I like that Seeger and, and Thompson both are able to battle their way out of K 
counts. You see a lot of players when they get behind, they, they go down the drain. It just gets worse and worse. Two strikes, they're they're done. Uh, that's what Jock Peterson is struggling with right now. But Thompson is showing a great approach. You know, such an early time in his career when he gets two strikes, and, and that's a sign of someone who's going to get some late late count hits, and, and that's a really critical to have success at this level. Grounded up the middle to base hit. Thompson, good work, and that ends that stretch of 10 in a row retired by Lester. Look at Thompson. Speeds into second. Good uh, work there. That is a beautiful thing. I mean, as a base runner being aggressive, that is something that Sut, you've been raving about, but the fact that he is aggressive and understands how to read it. You know, you have to hustle. You have to hustle from jump to be able to make a play like this. And the play's in, the play's in front of him, so he can see and make that decision. And even if he comes around aggressive on a quarter turn, he could always try to go back. So great read right there, knowing where your outfielders are and knowing the condition by which you can take that extra base. Peterson now struck out looking his first time. things that John Lester does really really well is the different looks at a base runner granted he doesn't throw to the base but he varies his delivery to home plate as well as anybody in the game and what, what's remarkable is that he's still able to make the quality pitches that he does yeah he varies his hold times he'll go slide step every now and again but it's definitely quick. Like I told you earlier, though, I just I still don't totally understand why teams don't just stare right at him and make him make a throw. Sometimes, like right now, if he took off running, right. what Le happens? Lester would step off and run at him. But eventually, he's going to have to throw the ball, and he's not comfortable doing that. And Baez is off the base. He doesn't have to. He gets the third. There's two outs. He's not going to score. Uh, I mean, if he feels like he's going to throw it away, he, he's not going to throw it. Yeah, Boog, I mean, I, I think a little bit maybe etiquette. I mean, there may well be the idea like you're just burying someone. Wow. I mean, I do think it's there is some level of unwritten rule in that category of like it's like kicking a man when he's down. If you like him. embarrassing him. Yeah, I mean, there you know, there's a line in there. Okay. Right? I, I mean, look, I don't, I understand fully like you, you know. The guy can't throw. You run. You just keep going. Uh, but then I remember facing uh, Mark Wollers, who had lost his control. And you're like, All right, do you? And, and they had me bunt on him. I had to bunt a sacrifice. And he threw two pitches over my head. And then he threw the ball over the first baseman. And he, like, walked off the field eventually and, and didn't pitch the rest of that season. And you know you could be in that guy's shoes. You know it as a ball player in the blink of an eye. Hit hard Rizzo though right there. He'll do it himself. And the inning is over. We're midway in the fourth. When we come back, our debate. That's right. Who's the best pitcher in the game? It's the finals. Biggest rivals. Shape the culture. Get your sculpture. Painful daggers. Raise your swagger. Biggest jumpers, sacred numbers. Make your game bright, get the spotlight. Set the bar high, time to rewrite. I just saved thousands on my loan at LendingTree.com. In less than a minute? 
I found out how much home I can afford. I like how you shop for loans the same way you shop for flights online. I didn't realize at Lending Tree, you can save money on almost any sort of loan. I consolidated my credit card debt with a personal loan. I found a new credit card with 0% interest for 15 months. You just shop, compare, and save. And it's all free. Go to Lending Tree right now and start saving. Every L-certified pre-owned Lexus comes with a 161-point inspection, 24-7 roadside assistance plan, two years or 20,000 miles of complimentary maintenance, an unlimited mileage warranty up to six years, and the confidence of being awarded the best luxury-certified pre-owned program. L-certified, exclusively at your Lexus dealer. Pizza is perfect. Pizza with bacon cheeseburger on it, way, way more perfect. Papa's Bacon Cheeseburger Pizza is back. And try our new Mushroom Swiss Burger Pizza. Just $10 each for a large. PapaJohns.com. All right. MLB Debate 2016. Who is King of the Hill? That's right. Is it the man on the left, the three-time Cy Young Award winner, 2014 MVP, or the man on the right, 20 straight decisions, 2015 NL Cy Young winner? Each with a 1.56 ERA, one man, 105 strikeouts and five walks. The other, two no hitters within the last year. I'm not even sure who I'm supposed to be impersonating right there, but you get the point. I love the political music. All right, Rick Sutcliffe, you go first. Jake Arrieta, Clayton Kershaw, or if you got a, another person, who's the best pitcher of the game? You guys know that I love Jake Arrieta and everything that he's done. But I said years ago, Adnan asked me one time on Baseball Tonight, if you could start a franchise and you could have any player in the game of baseball, this was four or five years ago, I said Clayton Kershaw. And people would argue Mike Trout, uh, Bryce Harper, a lot of other things. The thing about a true number one guy, and there's no no bigger, brighter number one than Clayton Kershaw, is that he gives you the opportunity to win three out of every five games. Dave Roberts knows that the night before Clayton Kershaw pitches, he can unload that bullpen. Because if you need eight, nine innings out of your ace, you can get it. He'll guarantee you that. So what happens the following day after his start? You've got your bullpen back intact. I just feel like that true number one is is the guy you start the franchise with and when you think about it I mean Jake Arrieta has done some amazing things. Wow. But Clayton Kershaw has been doing it for the last six seven years. That is a heck of a catch down to that corner Doug Glanville Trace Thompson up against the wall. Yeah this is awareness. I mean you know he slows into control he jumps and then he turns his back and that's a great play understanding. All right, if you're going to collide, you don't want to collide with the side of your shoulder. That's how you wrench your shoulder. So it's a way to protect yourself by going back first into the wall. And it also puts you in a better position to throw. So those are great instincts that he's showing already uh, with this young opportunity that he's getting with the Dodger. Here's Baez now. And that one driven in the air, left field, Crawford towards the line. And he makes the catch. Dougie, what's your take in terms of the best pitcher in the game? Yeah, I, I second Sutt's uh, solution and result in his opinion. That is Clayton Kershaw. I mean, uh, you know, if you try to it, look, it's it's fine line here. But the reality is, you know, Kershaw, a younger younger pitcher, the sort of future. You know, you see, you can you can see more innings being stacked up against him into the future. But that that walk and strikeout ratio is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's historic. 105 strikeouts, five work. Arietta's 25 walks, 75 strikeouts, three to one. So, uh, you know, that is legendary. That means you're striking people out and, and nobody, you're not giving them any chance of even coming close to getting good pitches to hit. And so that combination, one, and if you go advanced metric, you can take fielding independent pitching, which is sort of your ability to stand alone as a pitcher out there, independent of your defense, independent of your defense. And the reality is the Cubs have a way better defense than the Dodgers. And uh, it has helped Arietta. His, his, his FIP or fielding independent uh, pitching is, is 2.72. So that's sort of the idea of how much help he's getting from the defensive side, where Kershaw actually is lower than his 1.56 ERA. So 
he is doing more than what his defense is doing. So, uh, it's yes, is it splitting hairs? It is. Arietta, everybody would want this guy on his team, the intangible. But Clayton Kershaw is an exceptional pitcher, and he's actually getting better. And 2016 just, you know, sort of puts the exclamation point on that. I think beyond it, we're talking about a guy that in another year or two, we're going to start doing a discussion about is he one of the best pitchers ever? Because I think that there's a chance that when his career is over, the trajectory he's on, he's going to be in that discussion. Ross down on strikes. Bolsinger, nice work. Well, and you both make great points. I mean, he's just 28 years of age. That's for a lot of people when their prime and best years start coming about. Wow. Oh, looks like we missed most of the show. Yeah, and there's no way to restart it. With DirecTV, there is. You see, we got the power to turn back time, so let's restart the show that started at 9. And while we're at it, let's give you back your due and give her back the guy she liked before you. Hey, that's the power to turn back time. Get the ultimate all-included bundle. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. How do you choose a McPick 2? Are you a beard stroker or a visualizer? Perhaps you're a hand warmer, a lip pursing eyebrow shifter, or maybe a do a little dancer. However you choose, get just what you're craving with a McPick 2. For a limited time, choose any two McDonald's classics for five bucks, like the 100% beef Big Mac, filet of fish made with sustainably sourced fish, or 10 piece chicken McNuggets made with white meat. Enjoy the choice. Find more delicious deals in our app. You want a job? You learn a skill. You want a house? You save for it. You want bigger muscles? You lift heavier weights. You want a girl to marry you? You ask her father. You want respect? You earn it. You want to become the fastest growing beer in America? You work for it. Modelo Especial. Brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925 for a taste that's pure gold. My experience with USAA is awesome. Homeowners insurance, life insurance, automobile insurance. I spent 20 years active duty. They still refer to me as a gunnery sergeant when I call. Being a USA member because of my service in the military, to pass that on to my kids, something that makes me happy. My name is Roger Zapata and I'm a USA member for life. USAA, we know what it means to serve. Get an insurance quote and see why 92% of our members plan to stay for life. The Duel in Detroit, Saturday and Sunday at 3.30 Eastern on ABC. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Baseball presented by Hankook Tire. Fans, the best seats at every ballpark for every game. Visit MLB.com slash tickets today. First one missing to A.J. Ellis. Dodgers got a leadoff homer from Kike Hernandez. Cubs a two-run homer from Chris Bryant. And here we are. Got a base hit into left. Let's go back to Adnan Burke in the clubhouse. All right, thank you very much, Boo. With Tim Kirch and the White Sox take on the Mets earlier today. And Gotta love this, Timmy. Matt Albers with a double. This is his first plate appearance since 2009. This is the first extra base hit of his career and one of the worst arrivals at second base I've ever seen. But he made it. Bizarre. Just kind of held up almost a stutter step. You saw his reaction, and then Blawecki grounds out. White Sox with a 2 1. I know Suck could slide better than that, right, Boo? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> that was great. You go, Matt Albers. Tell you what, Jacob DeGrom was dominant once again and doing it with that fastball. Live K's on all game is brought to you by Scott's Roundup. Yeah, here at Wrigley Field in Chicago. John Chomby, Rick Sutcliffe, Doug Landville. A gorgeous night. And the Cubs leading it by a run. 
another packed house which is quickly becoming the norm here on the north side of Chicago that sky 72 degrees. I'm just happy I'm not freezing or oh with gosh. umbrellas or snow right now. So look at that sky. That <clears throat> beautiful like a little cotton candy out there, right? Yeah. There's always food and it is pretty much. A nice crowd just kind of walking around. Packed house. And these new party areas, it's a it's a hit. Everybody just standing up talking. A lot of fun. Lester ready to work. Dougie, has anybody gotten behind the uh, the velvet rope out not, there? No, not yet, not yet. Uh, I've not reached that star level where people would break through and uh, try to right. video bomb or tear off your blazer or something. Yeah, nothing like that. Okay. They, I do have a cool tie on, and I was, I was hoping that that would be a great sign. Someone tried to rip my tie off. That is a great tie. But I'm uh, very happy about the, the, the tie, the classic stadiums of history. Slap to left. Bryant there makes the catch. Doug, how would you assess him as a defensive outfielder? Evolving. That's the best way to describe it. I, mean, I, I think he can do well out there. Uh, he's a smart player. He makes adjustments, a good enough af athlete. And, you know, he's, he makes good decisions. So all that's going to lead to uh, the, the work ethic and the development of his position. So right now, you know, he's, he's not there yet. And that's to be understood as you've come up and now have to learn a new position. But I'll tell you, you know, the Cubs, you know, Dave Martinez mentioned, one of the coaches said, young players come up to me in spring training and say, hey, teach me a new position. They, they all want to be versatile because they know Joe Madden runs a ship like that where you could be called on, you know, being able to play anywhere at any time. Now one bunted out in front of the plate. Ross goes to second. Nice pick by Russell. Looked like a short hop, but he dug that out. David Ross aggressive on the throw, and they get the lead run. Well, this is all Joe Madden, just like we saw last night with Jake Arrieta. He put on the exact same play. He's going to crash at the corners right now. It's by design to get the lead runner, possibly a double play. There it is. Rossi's coming out. The throw has to go to second. It has to go there. All of a sudden, Addison Russell from shortstop turns into a first baseman. Look at Zobrist at first. Look at him crashing at the corner. Javi Baez came in and told John Lester, no matter where the bunt is, if I can get to it, you get out of the way. I'm going to make that throw. That is Joe Madden right there. You might have think that he spent all of his career as an American League manager. Well, he was paying attention to the National League in that play. Bounced out to short. Russell Zobris inning over. The new Chase Freedom Unlimited card earns you unlimited 1.5% cash back on everything you buy. The cash back is unlimited and you can spend it on anything, like whatever the next ad is selling. Get the new Chase Freedom Unlimited card. How does a burrito get the most loyal fans in Taco Bell history? You pack it with flaming Hot Fritos chips, nacho cheese sauce, and seasoned beef. How do you thank those fans? You make it a dollar. The Beefy Crunch Burrito, for a limited time, only at Taco Bell. For adults with advanced non-small cell lung cancer, previously treated with platinum-based chemotherapy, including those with an abnormal ALK or EGFR gene who've tried an FDA-approved targeted therapy, this is big. A chance to live longer. With Optivo, Nivolumab. Optivo demonstrated longer life and is the most prescribed immunotherapy for these patients. Optivo significantly increased the chance of living longer versus chemotherapy. No biomarker testing is required with Optivo, though physicians may choose to do so. Optivo works with your immune system. Optivo can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in your body and affect how they work. This may happen anytime during or after treatment has ended and may become serious and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you experience new or worsening cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, extreme fatigue, constipation, excessive thirst or urine, swollen ankles, loss of appetite, rash, itching, headache, confusion, hallucinations, muscle or joint pain, or flushing, as this may keep these problems from becoming more serious. These are not all the possible side effects of Updevo. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant or lung breathing or liver problems. 
A chance to live longer. Ask your doctor about Opdivo. Bristol Myers Squibb thanks the patients, nurses, and physicians involved in Opdivo clinical trials. The Giants have a knack for winning it all, like in 2010, 2012, and 2014. So here we are in 2016. Sensing a pattern yet? Sunday Night Baseball, Giants, Cardinals, Sunday at 8 on ESPN. Guys with an RBI. A live looking right now back in the clubhouse with Tim Kirchner and John Kruk. I'm Adnan Verk in Chicago. John Shambi along with Doug Landall, Rick Sutcliffe. That's Xander Bogart who extends his hit streak right off the bat. Tim Kirchner was 0 for 3 coming in. Right, and that's 25 games in a row for Bogart. This is a shortstop hitting 350 when he came into the game tonight. Just what you expect, right, John Kruk? 8 8 right now at the top of the six. Yeah, you know, another pitcher's doing Camden Yards, but. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Buck Showalter drew it up there, but ugh. But that end, this is the point of the Red Sox is that Bogarts is hitting 350 and he's probably the fourth best offensive player on their team this year with David Ortiz, Jackie Bradley, and and Betts. I mean, it's just amazing how great an offensive club they've had this year. And I love it, the fact that he's, he's not a big power guy. He hits third in that lineup with the you know, a bunch of other power hitters in it, but yeah, a perfect place for him because he can hit behind the runners when Pedroia gets on and Betts gets on. It's a pretty potent offense they got working up there in Boston. A 25-game hit streak there for Bogarts. David Ortiz is up right now, so we're going to stick with this at bat. Top of the order, by the way, is up for Chicago. That's Dexter Fowler up right now in the bottom of the fifth as the Cubs have the 2-1 lead. Poppy hit a home run earlier, and Clearly, Crocky, plenty of punch left in Big Poppy's bat. Yeah, you know, talking to him in spring training, he said, you, 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 I look, and he said, can I catch up to 100? No. But he said, you know, I have to try to outfool some of these young, out trick some of these young kids, you know, sit on a breaking ball. He had a change up uh, yesterday, I think, for a home run. So, yeah, you just, you know, when you get older, you could become wiser. And there, Ortiz off the end of his bat there as the O's looking to turn two. And, they get that done. So we'll keep you posted what happens from Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Back to John Shambi at Wrigley. 8-8 uh, eight, eight there. Top two offenses in the American League. And right here, Cubs lead the Dodgers Follow live baseball with the MLB.com at bad app. Stay up to the moment with game day. Live game video highlights, stat cast news, and more. Download the MLB.com at bat on your phone and your tablet. Grumpy on the organ. They got him to chase that breaking ball too gone. So let's look at some of the in-game adjustments the young Cubs are making. Now, Bolsinger starts a, a cutter he's not locating out of the zone, so he goes to his curveball. And the second time around, look what the Cubs are able to do. They were waiting for this pitch, rifling it all over the field. So this in-game adjustment wasn't just an individual adjustment, it was a team adjustment. And that's how they get hits and bunches and what makes the Cubs lineup so dangerous. This, this is the second time around, so just imagine what happens on the third time. And, and that's really a great point, Dougie, because they're starting to make that adjustment. You mentioned that with the Cubs, and Dave Roberts right there with him, realizing that, you know, it is the third time through the lineup. They've, they've, they've made the adjustment on our starting pitcher. We got a one run ball game. It's going to be tough to score off of John Lester. Let's don't give him another opportunity. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if somehow Jason Hayward was able to get on with Chris Bryant in the on deck circle. That might be the end of the night, believe it or not, for Bolsinger. Well, Bolsinger's you know, numbers don't look very good. In fourth inning, his ERA is 6.75, fifth inning, 7.88. So it's early, but you know, he, he certainly struggles once he gets into those middle innings. Uh, where he starts to fall apart a little bit. Got him looking. Hayward didn't like the call. And Bolsinger 
gets through it. He has set down seven straight. It's the finals. Biggest rivals. Shape the culture. Get your sculpture. Painful daggers. Raise your swagger. Biggest jumpers, sacred numbers. Make your game bright, get the spotlight. Set the bar high, time to rewrite. Remember dad helping you catch your first fish and watching him try to assemble the family tent? Then telling me special with great Father's Day gifts from Bass Pro Shops and BassPro.com. Like this XPS Hardbait kit for under $11. Carhartt Workwear t-shirts, buy one, get one half off. And save $30 on this Abu Garcia and Turney Special Baitcast combo. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Twelve bucks is all that's standing between you and a good time. Dine and drink. Happening now. Pick your entree and pair it with a cocktail, wine, or beer for just twelve bucks. Dine and drink. Only at Fridays. I take pictures of sunrises, but with my back pain, I couldn't sleep and get up in time. Then I found Aleve PM. Aleve PM is the only one to combine a safe sleep aid plus the 12-hour pain-relieving strength of Aleve. I'm back. Aleve PM for a better AM. Real meal for five bucks. 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 Finger licking, finger licking, finger licking. Good. Cricket knows the play that'll make you celebrate. Switch to Cricket and get the Samsung Galaxy Amp 2 for $19.99 or the Samsung Galaxy Amp Prime for $49.99. Cricket Wireless, something to smile about. The fans, the NBA Finals start tomorrow night on ABC 9 Eastern. Cavs and the Warriors, the rematch. Coverage starts with NBA Countdown, presented by Straight Talk Wireless at 8.30. So far this postseason, Curry has averaged about two more points a game. LeBron has him in both rebounds and assists. And, of course, Steph Curry has him in a three-point shooter. Trace Thompson is... Older brother Clay will be a big part of the Warriors' bid to repeat as champs. Trace, 13 months younger than Clay. He was talking about playing together on the high school team. They played together. Clay's senior year, and when he took off to go to college, that's when Trace decided that I've had enough. I'm going to focus on baseball. And he said he knew he made a great decision when Clay came back after that first year in college. Because he said he kind of held his own in high school. You know, he said, I was more of the defensive guy. They put me on the other team's best score, and, you know, Clay would do the offensive thing. He said, we came back after that first year of college. He said, I thought I was on him, and the next thing you know, he's going right over me with his shot, and I knew it was over. The play who played his college ball at Washington State. Let's go back to the clubhouse. Here is Edna. All right, Boog, thank you. With John Crock, the Rangers and the Indians, four all in the 11th. That's Gomes driving in Chisholm Hall. Indians win. Uh, yeah, great pitching effort by both both starting pitchers in this game. But at the end, the Brazilian brings in the run. Alex Claudio gives it up. The Windians, the Cleveland Boog. The Indians now 27 and 24. there in the middle of it with the White Sox and the Royals in that central division who's winning the central boy I think that's a coin toss right now I mean you, you know what the Royals have done in the past but it seems like every third day there's an injury a significant one for them I, I think it's a I think it's a four team race I think any one of four teams I don't believe the twins are going to be able to get back in it but any one of those other four teams I, I, I believe could do it. I mean, all night long, Lester has stayed away from lefties and been effective. He, he's painting that lower third. I mean, he hasn't really had to do much to establish in. Big swing and a miss. Lester gets him on the curve. 
I think that curveball for John Lester just continues to get better. He was always known as a fastball cutter type guy. He owned the third base side of home plate. But I think his command of the first base side has gotten better. He'll use in a changeup occasionally against a right handed hitter. And that big sweeping curveball just seems to be at its best. So now Howie Kendrick. That's the pitch right there. I'll never forget Jason Veritek telling me. John Lester was kind of hot and cold having a little bit of success and then struggled. He says once he's able to open up the first base side of home plate he'll dominate. And obviously it wasn't long after that but that did happen. Mad at himself right now wanting to get ahead two outs nobody on. Don't want to deal with Thompson. Looks like the night for Mike Bolsinger was over with. I don't know if it has to do with we saw him it looked like he was favoring that right side a little bit. We talked about the fact that the Cubs are going through the lineup for the third time but. Lester gets a one two three Chris Bryant is already homer tonight and he'll lead it off. Some said Wendy's four for four was the biggest thing since. And now for tonight's biggest news. The four for four now comes with your choice of a junior bacon cheeseburger or the new crispy chicken DLT. It's the biggest thing until. I would like three weeks vacation. Two is standard. I'm not standard. Three weeks. Okay. Lifted your head up. Wow. You got to keep your head down, man. That's right. Keep your head down. And then go straight to the real experts who can actually help your game with the latest gear at Golfsmith. Dad, you could just drop me off right here. No, no, I'll take you up to the front of the school. That's where your friends are. Seriously, it's, it's really fine. You don't want to be seen with your dad? No, it's... No. Is this about a boy? Dad, stop, please. Oh, there's Tracy. What? <laughs> It breaks when you don't. Forward collision warning and autonomous emergency braking available on the newly redesigned Passat from Volkswagen. Some might call us old fashioned for being one of the only distilleries in America to make its own barrels. For making our own charcoal and taste testing every batch of whiskey until it's perfect. Of course, anyone who calls us old fashioned won't hear an argument from us. We know how to take a compliment. The Jack Daniel Distillery, 150 years and counting. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Baseball on ESPN, presented by Hancock Tire. And here from Wrigley Field, it all starts here. The 2016 Major League Baseball Draft coverage begins Thursday, June 9th on MLB Network and MLB.com. Pedro Baez will take over 25th appearance a part of a Dodger bullpen that ranks fourth in the National League in ERA 25 punch outs in 21 and a third innings. He can bring it. He can get it up there in the upper 90s. A lack of command really has been his only problem. You say what are you talking about only seven walks and 25 strikeouts. Well the command has been in the heart of the plate. The Dodger reliever has already allowed five home runs. Looks like he's going to try and work away. Missed inside and Bryant missed. Well, Chris Bryant this year, one of the things he's done so well is make an improvement on pitches on the outer half. Last year, no power on pitches away. Hit 217. It's bumped up to 293. And he's cut the strikeout rate in half. And you look at his hit chart in 2016. I mean, if that isn't. Just a nice mix of everywhere. That is hit it where it's pitched. Inside, outside, up and down. And he's 24. I think it guys has a lot to do with his swing approach on that outer pitch. You know, he, he has a little bit of kind of a loop or an uppercut to his swing. And you can't really get away with that on the outer third. So you have to kind of flatten it out a little bit. 
And he's done a nice job of being able to get that barrel to the ball on the outer third. Here's the home run in the third as he got the breaking ball. And launch angle, you're talking 29 degrees. That's a ball that left the bat, and it was too high, as they said in the movie Major League. And that got out. And for Bryant, home run number 12. Got a lot of power. Center field and Peterson. One up, one down. So Chris Bryant in the game, one for three. I want to ask both of you guys about Chris Bryant and playing all over the place because I don't know that every 24-year-old would be cool with coming to the park and, hey, where am I playing tonight? I mean, he's known as a third baseman. So Rick Sutcliffe, why is it working? Because all he cares about is winning. And Joe Madden were giving the explanation on why he's doing certain things. Felt like tonight he needed to go give Jorge Soler a night off, struggling, not putting together real good at bats, and knowing that when you put Baez at third and you move Bryant to left field, you get better defensively. Here are all those positions that he's played, not just third. I mean, real early in his big league career, he had a chance to play center field. Last night, he actually got a chance to play, what, an out or two at shortstop. Dougie, how much does Joe Madden factor into the buy-in on this? A lot. I mean, he gets people to buy into a lot of things. I mean, bringing you know, alligators, snakes, anything he needs to bring to the park. He has a lot of guys just believing, really the whole team, in what you need to do to be successful and win. And look, it is hard on a young player coming in not knowing what position you're playing, uh, you know, not confident defensively in that particular position. That is not an easy thing. Uh, I played center field, and even coming in to play left, it was like, whoa, whoa, this is a different position completely. And uh, so, you know, it's a lot of credit to these young players. But as I mentioned earlier, Dave Martinez said young guys were coming up to him in spring training, like, teach me another position. I just want to be available. And that really tells the story of Joe Madden. Finally, we get a peek into Doug Glanville, the diva. <laughs> left field. What is this left field you speak of? I, was, I, I played my entire minor league career in center, touched a little bit of right, and the day before I got called up to the big leagues in June, June 9th, 1996, I played left field in AAA, and I got called up and started in left field in Wrigley Field. I, I mean, that was absolutely horrifying. Like, wow, this would be scared to death because it was a different position. And so imagine Kyle Schwarber in the playoffs or, or yeah. Brian, and that's not easy. Rizzo retired. He's one for three here tonight. Ben Zobris will make his way to the plate 0 for two. As you guys well know, it's not like Joe Madden just takes a chance on putting somebody out there in the outfield. He's he's got so much faith in his longtime bench coach Davey Martinez that, that Davey takes him out there. He'll put him out there for three or four days, and then he'll report back to Joe. Yes or no? Yes or no? Can he do it? Also consider Zobrist, right? I mean, Zobrist has played all over Earth, and this is really the first season, really consistently. Like you're, you're the second baseman. I mean, I, I do think that matters long term. All over Earth, I like that description. Nice play at third there by Turner to get the Earth traveling Zobrist. Cubs lead it two one. My life has changed completely. And I'm gonna walk my way to the body that I want. All I really had to do was walk. I'm Jillian Michaels, America's toughest trainer. You wanna burn more calories? You want unbelievable results? Well, guess what? There's a better way. The X11i Incline Trainer from Nordic Track. You wanna know what Nordic Track's calorie burning secret is? Incline. The X11i can go from an incredible negative 6 to 40% incline for five times the calorie burn. Five times more calories just by walking. But Nordic Tracks, not done. At the touch of a button, you'll activate iFit. Powered by Google Maps, you'll be able to train anywhere in the world, all from your living room. Experience.
experience five times the calorie burn with the X11i Incline Trainer from Nordic Track. The only place you can get your Incline Trainer is at NordicTrack.com. Order today with 0% down and free shipping. Only at NordicTrack.com. Pizza is perfect. Pizza with bacon cheeseburger on it, way, way more perfect. Papa's Bacon Cheeseburger Pizza is back. And try our new Mushroom Swiss Burger Pizza. Just $10 each for a large. PapaJohns.com. This is Chris Bryant. And this is Anthony Rizzo. As the muscle of the Chicago Cubs lineup, they decided to go into business. The souvenir business. Brizzo Souvenir Company, please hold. We founded Brizzo Souvenir Company to get you the home run balls you deserve. Help me help you get some baseballs. It's a good deal, Joe. Yeah. Have you seen us play? We authenticate them with our bats. Nine ounce balls. Take it or leave it. Deal. Woo! Another one. We put the ding in dinger. Drop your weapon! I got a plan. Might get us both killed, but it'll be a totally boss story. Cool? No, it's not cool. Cool. <laughs> You were like Jason Bourne with jorts. Central Intelligence, rated PG-13. Now fans vote for your 2016 All-Stars today with the insurance MLB All-Star Game ballot. Vote at MLB.com slash vote. And catch all the excitement of the 87th MLB All-Star Game presented by MasterCard. It's July 12th. It is live on Fox and on ESPN Radio. And I'll have the call with Chris Singleton. All right, so all-star voting thus far. <laughs> Cubs, 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 Cubs. Pretty good. Yeah. I would imagine there will be two, maybe three of the Cubs pitchers. we will be heading to San Diego. Ron Doan have an outstanding season. He's perfect in save opportunities. The problem for him is just aren't that many of them because of how they just outslug people for the most part this year. John Lester, the last couple of years, has averaged over a strikeout an inning, and it's really no secret to how he does that. It's going to be on the third base side of the plate, but there are so many different things that he does. He'll change speeds on the cutter, he'll elevate it, he'll keep it down, he'll take a little bit off to chase it out of the zone. But he's going to make you prove that you can do something on that side of home plate before he makes any kind of an adjustment. John Lester now closing in on the seventh inning, something that he did four out of five times in the month of April. Trying to do it again here on the first day of June. Fans live K Zone all game long, brought to you by Scott's Roundup. Jack Peterson, 0 for 2. Hit on the ground, Baez backhands and fires the first. Javier Baez, excellent defender, not quite the range that Russell has, but the strongest arm among their infielders. And he he may have the most power. I mean, he 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 hit the scoreboard in batting practice. Oh, I mean, prodigious power. And uh, you know, it's just a matter of him spraying the ball around a little more, cutting down on the strikeouts a little bit. But wow, I you know, watching them every day in spring training take batting practice, and you, you watch Baez, you watch Schwarber. They love putting on a show. <laughs> Chris Bryant's the only one that. I just don't know about. I mean, he never really tries to hit it really far. I'm going to tell him you said that. I would bet on him. Let's talk turkey. New premium carved turkey at Subway. It's oven roasted just right. It's like thick, tender, juicy, just the way you like it. And it tastes even better with fresh veggies and applewood smoked bacon. Our new carved turkey and bacon sandwich. Subway. Fresh is what we do. Something's going on in this town. These things are everywhere. They're all around us. I've seen things I can't explain. It's too late to fight. You ain't seen a fight yet. 
Outcast premieres Friday at 10, 9 central, only on Cinemax. Can a car be crafted instead of produced, designed with attention and care to give a feeling that stays with you? At Mazda, every detail matters because driving matters. The all-new three-row Mazda CX-9. The new Subway Carved Turkey and Bacon Sandwich. What are you most thankful for in that sandwich? The carved turkey. Quality turkey. It's delicious. You want to go halvesies on this? Halvesies? That's a Thanksgiving tradition. The new Carved Turkey and Bacon Sandwich. It's day after Thanksgiving good. Subway, fresh is what we do. The rematch we've all been waiting for. The king on a quest. The champs looking for the repeat. Either way, it's about to get historic. The NBA Finals. It's on. Cavs. Warriors. Tomorrow at 9 on ABC. Timo will bring you greater coverage of baseball. Adnan Verk and Tim Kirsten in the clubhouse. The Orioles and the Red Sox. Matt Wieters through the legs of Dustin Pedroia. And then you see this maybe once a year. Guy is so good fundamentally at second base, and that ball went right through his legs. And then later, it's Flaherty off Handler Ramirez's glove. Pedroia gets it back to Ramirez, but a run scores 10 8 Baltimore. The Orioles can score some runs also. We are seeing both offenses look good. Back to John Shambi, Sutt, and Doug Lambert. Thanks, fellas. Yes. Addison Russell steps to the play. Russell Baez Ross comes up 2 1. A Kike Hernandez homer for the Dodgers. A Chris Bryant two run homer for the Cubs. That's been it. Addison Russell just coming off a career. Month in the month of May, a career high 17 RBIs. Comes into play on the 1st of June with 30. Playing an outstanding shortstop. He's a guy the defensive metrics like, and we continue to see him get more and more attention. I think, you know, he's going to. Keep being discussed among the elite defensive shortstops, guys like Andrelton Simmons and Brandon Crawford. As he climbs into that conversation. Well, that's an example. We talked about position change. He came up, had to play second base. You know, it wasn't necessarily his natural position or where he had played. And you know he did very well. And, and it's tough to go from short to second and learn how to pivot the double play. The whole field's turned around. And then he went back home to shortstop and you know sort of set him free. He's, he's very comfortable over there. Hit hard, caught out of the air. Kike Hernandez about shoot top high, and there's one away. Well, tonight the Cubs conquer cancer game, and fittingly enough, Craig Sager of TNT throwing out the first pitch. And great to see Sags. He's rocking a great suit and he's saying take me out to the ball game. Well you saw Anthony Rizzo out there to catch that first pitch. He knows a lot about cancer recovery. Well you wish him the best. One of the really really good guys and talented guys in our business. He's been around a while too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rizzo and tonight's starter for the Cubs, John Lester, both cancer survivors. And we wish Craig the best in his battle. You know, he's been to a lot of big moments, including this one, Craig Sager, April 8, 1974. <laughs> yeah, that's him right there in the white jacket. He was fresh out of Northwestern, scored the interview of a lifetime right there. He's the first media member to talk to Hank Aaron after he broke Babe Ruth's record. <laughs> you just don't have that kind of access anymore, <laughs> do you, Dougie? I think they're trying to head that way, though. Uh, I'm going to be at standing next to Jacques Peterson doing, doing a game. That would be, that'd be interesting. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just running next to him. You know, it. Put like a headset in, in a catcher's mask and helmet. 
Hey, what's coming, bud? What, what, what are you throwing here? What are you thinking? <laughs> There's that double threat that a guy like Javier Baez possesses. You, you, you throw ball four, and he might steal second, as he's already done once in the ball game tonight. You leave it over the heart of the plate or anywhere elevated in that K zone. And it might end up right next to Chris Bryant's ball. I don't know how he throws a whole wad of sunflower seeds in his mouth at the bat during the at bat. <laughs> That's impressive. Plus, he has to do it around the face guard. And again, gets a piece. This, this is skills right here, man. This, this, this shows. I mean, this is what how you kill time in the dugout a lot. So he's, he's got a season. He's getting a fresh batch right here. We talk about a pace of game right here. You know, I know, I know Rob Manford just passed out watching that right there. <laughs> in the commissioner's office. <laughs> we got slow, seed. slow down for seeds. Yeah, we got seed delays. What's going on? Timeout snacks. <laughs> We're all for that, aren't we? That's fair. Absolutely. Little dribbler out front of the plate. Ellis picks it up, whirls and throws. Ooh, Howie Kendrick. Let's see if he's all right. That is a scary play. I mean, you know, right-handed first baseman with that glove reaching in. You saw that happen to Albert Pujols years ago where he got seriously hurt because he's trying to do the catch and tag. So you're reaching across, and as you're making the tag, you're also trying to get out of the way, not make strong contact, just enough to get the out recorded. So he's trying to pull it in. And Baez arrived right at that same time. He could not get it out of the way. So even though the force was made, his glove was still back there, bent back nastily. And look at this. Look at his wrist go back. Ooh. And again, Howie not used to playing a ton of first base. He's played it before. But the real gruesome one years back, something we talked about it the other night. It was Cliff Floyd at Shea Stadium yeah. against the Mets, Todd Hundley, and he fractured. I mean, just about every bone in his hand and wrist. You know, Derek Lee yeah. happened to him some years back against the Cardinals. Ryan Klesko, um, Albert Pujols. I mean, it's you know, that's by his speed. You know, he's he's right there as the ball's arriving. Well, he would have been called out anyway, even if the ball wouldn't have gotten away from Howie Kendrick, because I felt like he was in the baseline the whole way until that last step. Yeah, and I should say, I mean, Howie Kendrick, this is his 84th game, his 84th appearance at first base. So not 84 starts, but I mean, he's he's played over there enough. Certainly not as as much in recent years. Well, that's a tough throw with the ball coming and the runner kind of in the lane. I don't think he saw it that well, and he made sure he could not get out of the way in time. But again, the Dodgers 15 trips to the DL. That's most. In baseball, so I mean, every team needs to stay healthy. But when you're leading the majors in that category, yeah, Dave Roberts, that'll uh, that'll take your breath away for a second. And as you look at that disabled list, I think obviously that has a lot to do with why, in their non-Clayton Kershaw starts, they're struggling as they are. Bottom seven Cubs lead at two-one. Cubs coming into the game a plus 128 run differential the best through 50 games since the 1939 Yankees. And well Dodger pitching is settled in 12 straight retired now. By Dodger pitchers. Baez is bringing it, by the way. 99, 98. As a hitter, I mean, you have to get it started so quickly and so soon. 
He'll just catch up to it, but he has a lot of sink to that ball. So making it extra difficult. Here's a one-two. Baez gets Ross. The Cubs go in order for the fourth straight inning. Technology is a living thing. It listens to us. How may I help you? It shows us the way. It expands our minds and gives us vision where once we had none. This is how civilization moves forward. This is how we get coffee. The 2016 Corolla technology on a whole other level. Get 0.9% APR financing for 72 months on a 2016 Corolla. Offer ends July 5th. For great deals on other Toyotas, visit Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. How do you choose a McPick 2? Are you a beard stroker or a visualizer? Perhaps you're a hand warmer, a lip piercing eyebrow shifter, or maybe a do a little dancer. However you choose, get just what you're craving with a McPick 2. For a limited time, choose any two McDonald's classics for five bucks, like the 100% beef Big Mac, filet of fish made with sustainably sourced fish, or 10 piece chicken McNuggets made with white meat. Enjoy the choice. Find more delicious deals in our app. Oh, looks like we missed most of the show. Yeah, and there's no way to restart it. With DirecTV, there is. You see, we got the power to turn back time, so let's restart the show that started at 9. And while we're at it, let's give you back your due and give her back the guy she liked before you. Hey, that's the power to turn back time. Get the ultimate all-included bundle. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. He has a sharp wit, a winning smile, and no chance of getting an athletic scholarship. And that is why you invest. The best returns aren't just measured in dollars. TD Ameritrade. Wednesday Night Baseball on ESPN is presented by Hankook Tire. Chase down your passion never halfway. And in part by TD Ameritrade. And the Scion IA and IM premium standard features that actually come standard. Back at Wrigley Field, your standard baseball announcers, John Chomby, Rick Sutcliffe, and Doug Glanville as we go to the eighth. And the Cubs lead it two to one. Only one time during the first 10 starts of this season has John Lester retired and out in the eighth inning. Activity in the Cub bullpen just in case he runs into trouble. Justin Grimm, the hard throwing right hander, up and throwing. Yasiel Puig stepping out into the on deck circle. Not able to play a late scratch in the ball game last night against Jake Arietta. It was a hamstring, wasn't it? It was. But Puig, a guy that could, with one swing, either tie this or possibly give him the lead if that's the spot. Carl Crawford doesn't look like he's wearing the earplugs to hit. We'll check on him in the outfield to see if he's wearing them again. We could see him from here in the outfield last night. You're not kidding. <laughs> Yeah, they were like neon yellow or green or something. And then they, when I asked him about it, he said, you saw those? <laughs> like, you could see them from the space station, dude. <laughs> yeah, pretty bright. Huge pitch in this ball game. About to come out of the hand of John Lester. Wheels are spinning. Both bullpens are active. A lot of guys getting ready to pinch hit, possibly. Inside corner. Big strikeout. 
And with one out, back to the clubhouse. Hello, Adnan. All right, Boog, thank you. Hello from Toronto. The Yankees and the Jays and John Clark, Edwin Encarnacion, big hit here. Yeah, huge hit. Pretty much broke the game open the way the Yankees were swinging the bats in this one. Give them a four-run lead, and they never looked back. Seven to nothing as Tanaka was roughed up. It's all Toronto, Boog. You knew with Adnan that it was not going to be a Yankee highlight there. Yeah, you're not kidding. Well, here's Puig now. He has always killed the Cubs in his brief career, but at Wrigley Field, for some reason, he's found it to his liking. A 447 career batting average at Wrigley. And overall against the Cubs, it's actually even higher, 456. In his career, he's 26 for 57 against the Cubs. And Justin Grimm continues to get loose. Lester closing in on 100 pitches. Definitely like to get him past Wig here. If you pick up this out, then in my opinion, you leave Lester in to face Hernandez. If you go to the bullpen and you bring in the right handed reliever, it's not going to be Hernandez that hits. You're looking at Utley or Gonzalez. That's what makes him so tough right there. That's a 2 0 pitcher looking for a nice fat pitch down the middle. He paints one down and in. So if you dare swing at it, you do nothing but pound it into the ground. Weak to center. And Fowler there to glove. Tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern, X Games Austin gets underway on ESPN. The finals of Moto X Step Up. And Harley Davidson flat track also streaming live at Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. Next game's Austin starts Thursday, 8:30 Eastern. PK one out of three. The leadoff homer he hit tonight, the second of his career. Big swing and a miss at a curve. It's number 101 on the night for John Lester right there. Basically the norm. You, with the exception of one star, you're, you're going to get right around 100 pitches out of the veteran left-hander. Well, Lester leads off in the night, so a pretty good bet that this is the end of the line for him. I He's done great work. This is the last hitter either way, I believe. Got him swinging. Nice work by John Lester as he punches out Kike Hernandez will go to the bottom of the eighth and the Cubs with a one run lead. The duel in Detroit Saturday and Sunday at 3.30 Eastern on ABC. Some said Wendy's four for four was the biggest thing since. And now for tonight's biggest news. The four for four now comes with your choice of a junior bacon cheeseburger or the new crispy chicken BLT. It's the biggest thing until. These outdoor furnishings from Lowe's are so stylish, it almost feels like we're inside the house. Not that I've been in there. Or have I? Now get a $50 Lowe's gift card when you purchase this Charbroil Advantage stainless steel gas grill. Okay. Okay, you got this. What would Vin Diesel do? No regrets. No fans. No! Oh. Ninja Turtles, rated PG-13. Twelve bucks is all that's standing between you and a good time. Dine and drink. Happening now. Pick your entree and pair it with a cocktail, wine, or beer for just twelve bucks. Dine and drink only at Fridays. Can a car be crafted instead of produced, designed with attention and care to give a feeling that stays with you? At Mazda, every detail matters because driving matters. The all-new three-row Mazda CX-9.
This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Adnan Burke alongside Tim Kirchner, an update on the Mariners and the Padres. Robinson Cano, Tim, three-run home run, his 16th. Adnan, when he's healthy, which he was not last year, this is the healthy Robinson Cano, and you see the improved power. Didn't hit his 16th home run last year until September. Boo, back to you. All right, Adnan, thanks. Casey Fine on here, but the bigger story is at the plate. Fine on for the 17th time. You surprised he's hitting? A little. Dougie? I mean, Joe Madden loves to say, look, push him. See what you can do in the ninth. You know, worst case, you go get him. But I mean, you just sent Chris Basio and, and you asked John Lester, do you want it? Exactly. You want it? You're going back. You make the decision. John, you're going back out? It looks great out there right now. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> I am observing and evaluating right now. This is the old Don Sutton move right here. I mean, the only reason he would take a bat up there is because by rule he has to. <laughs> and he's smiling. Oh, he's getting hooted on from the dugout. I think AJ Ellis. Might have said something as well. It was like he scooped that one out of his mitt. I think Eric Kinski's over there saying, "Come on, brother." I mean, they're all they're all taking cover now. Absolutely. Just leave the bat on your shoulder, Johnny. <laughs> Watch out! And you see that fence there? I mean, I remember playing with Rhino here, and Ryan Samber got hit. They didn't they used to have the fence; it was just open, and he got hit and really. He was out down and out for a couple of days, so the next day there was a fence up there. Good eye now, two and two. You can't mess with Brian Sandberg now. That was that was serious. Yeah, they got those fences in front of pretty much every dugout now. Yeah. Keep them safe. It's, it's close. Swinging. Don't want away. Base is empty. And after we wrap up here at Wrigley, don't miss Sports Center at night. A night after Bucci and Booney, America recovers. And the two Johns, Bucci Gross and Anderson, will come your way. Sports Center, MLB highlights, a breakdown of the Stanley Cup finals, game two between Sharks and Pens, and the rest of the day in sports. Booch and Anderson coming up, Sports Center at night. And that follows our game. So Tall Boone was one and done. That's it, Tall Boone one and done. I get a I didn't get a chance to uh, to see any of it. I didn't either. I, I, I talked to him today. He had a blast, as as we knew he would. I mean he's a big sports fan. So he is on top of a, a decent amount of stuff, but that's uh, that's a lot to handle right there. The teleprompter. Most of those guys they, they, they write their own stuff. So yeah, Booney I'm sure did not write his own stuff. <laughs> Here's a one two. Just missed. I'm being told, by the way, from inside sources that they're actually in the process of maybe hiring Aaron Boone full time for Sports Center. 
Fowler down on strikes. So here's really what your night is about. It's it's fun and you want to you want a ball and dad gets a chance to you know drink a beer so does mom and sometimes the ball goes in the beer. Is, Cheers everybody. Is that what you call a floater. <laughs> that is. Well done young man. And well done by third base coach Gary Jones. Mm -hmm. Finding that young man and giving that family something to always remember. Yeah, this slider has been nasty. Finds throwing to the lefties very aggressively down and in. They're swinging all over top of it. Keep going with it. Hayward tonight a walk a line out and a strikeout looking. And Hayward, who signed the eight year contract with the Cubs as a free agent. Ooh, look right there. $184 million. He can't opt out at the end of next year. I can't imagine that happening. Can't imagine. I'm interested to see if he. He gets going. Remember last year in the second half, he was really a monster for the Cardinals. Finished up very strong. 3 2 down. Well, you know, he does a lot of things as a complete player from the standpoint of you know, defense, a bunch of bases. His, his arm is a weapon. Uh, the leadership factor is a lot going on. And, you know, it's, offensively, he's going to. Challenges with consistency at different times. He's got a complex swing, but uh, you know he's game on, and uh, seems like the clubhouse has really taken him in a leadership role. Up the middle and it gets through. That's pretty good at bat. Hayward with his first hit of the night, a seven-pitch AB. Let's take you through it. Well, that's really three pretty good at bats on the night for Jason Hayward. Take a look at the breaking ball, able to lay off that, seeing the spin. All right, I'll give you credit for that. K zone telling you that both of those are outstanding pitches. Now I've got a battle. I got to work. I got to protect. I'm seeing the rotation. I got to foul that off. Too close to take right there. You finally, finally made a mistake. Put the barrel on the baseball like he did earlier in the ball game and he lined out to right field. That finishes 15 in a row set down by Dodger pitching. And you know, Dougie and Boog, we, we all know Jason Hayward extremely well. And we know that really he's a lot like Derek Jeter in the fact that the only number he cares about right now stands at 35 and 15. All he cared about last year with the Cardinal, they won 100 games during the regular season, winning the National League Central. That's their immediate goal here in Chicago right now. Stay away from that wild card game that can end your season with one bad stretch of nine innings. KP Howell getting loose. See if they bring him in for Rizzo if it gets there. That of it's interesting here. If I look down at the bullpen, you would have thought it was Hector Rondon up and throwing on the right side. That's not him. That's Pedro Stroke. Which 
makes it easier for Joe Madden to send John Lester back out if he wants it. I, I, I mean, I've heard of a little back tightness on the part of Rondon. I don't know. I'm guessing from right now. I wasn't told any of that before the game, but I know that there's there's been some treatment in that area. That's exactly what's going on. He's in the dugout. Ball to strike. The difference in this ball game right now is one swing of the bat from this man. He can make things a lot more comfortable for the Cubs. Trying to win. The second game here in game three of this four game series. Check swing. Yes, he won. Nick Lentz. Take a look at this one more time. I wasn't sure to begin with. That's that's that gray area. And if you're a Dodger fan, you're thrilled. If you're a Cub fan, you're not. Well, I mean, did he go or didn't he go? Yes. Okay. And you've heard me say many times partner the last several years we've worked together yes I feel like if, if the bat is in a position where the ball would be put in play then it's a swing that's right because the umpires don't have the luxury to to yell out gray area <laughs> no call do over you can do it over that swing goes 50 50 there's a 2 2 got him swinging Worked him away, and that's that. Last chance for the Dodgers. We'll see if John Lester is going to try and finish what he started. It's the finals. Biggest rivals. Shape the culture. Get your sculpture. Painful daggers. Raise your swagger. Biggest jumpers, sacred numbers. Make your game bright, get the spotlight. Set the bar high, time to rewrite. Just what you're craving with a McPick 2. Choose any two McDonald's classics for five bucks, like the 100% beef Big Mac, filet of fish made with sustainably sourced fish, or 10 piece chicken McNuggets made with white meat. Enjoy the choice. Find more delicious deals in our app. Inspired by a true Stella Artois story. I am Sebastian Artois, brewmaster, risk taker. Wake up, Sebastian! I sold everything I had to own a brewery. You might have heard its name. So, what do you want to be remembered for? Stella Artois, be legacy. Get just what you're craving with a McPick 2. Choose any two McDonald's classics for five bucks, like the 100% beef Big Mac, filet of fish made with sustainably sourced fish, or 10 piece chicken McNuggets made with white meat. Enjoy the choice. Find more delicious deals in our app. This week's Sunday Night Baseball comes your way from St. Louis. Giants and Cardinals, 8 Eastern on Sunday on ESPN. Then Monday Night Baseball comes at Phillies, 7 Eastern ESPN 2. Major League Baseball on Tuesday, ESPN 2, the Mets and the Pirates from Pittsburgh. John Lester continuing on the hill. September of last year, his last complete game. Got a dozen in his career, including four shutouts. 
averaging about one per year. Russell collects the hop and throws him out. Sports Center to follow our game. John and John standing by. Again, our next broadcast of Major League Baseball on ESPN will be Sunday night. We'll go Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Giants, Cardinals, Cubs, Phillies, Mets, Pirates. Ninety-four. That's Pretty called, good. That's called wanting it. Seeger one out of three. He singled and he has struck out twice. Well, Lester gave up the leadoff homer to Kike Hernandez and really nothing since. Right at Russell. Two down. He set down 25 out of 27. And trying to lead the Cubs to a 2 1 win. David Ross, yeah, checking the, the scouting report there. And really, all that's on that guard is the report on Kendrick. It has nothing to do with Lester, per se. It's really just pitches they like to use on Kendrick early and late in counts for him versus lefties and righties. So what do we go to late? You go with what got you here. Maybe thinking about that cut fastball to the back door outside corner. David Ross was adamant about that curveball. You can see the signs there. He put it down twice. You're throwing a curveball here. We're setting this up. I, I like that backdoor cutter right now to try to get that freebie on the outside corner. Coming back in. Great performance by John Lester. A complete game, 13th of his career. And David Ross fired up. Cubs win it 2 1. Up next is Sports Center for Rick Sutcliffe, Doug Glanville, and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chomby. So long from Wrigley. Now we send it to Sports Center and the two Johns. Thank you very much. We're both here, and it appears we're wearing khaki suits. Uh, the best golf tournament you're going to see, and it's not the Memorial coming up, plus other men with sticks. The Cavs and Cubs are both going to win a championship this year. <laughs> wow. Yes. We are Battle Fried. <laughs> is believing run starting from $25 sign up at battlefrogtv.com my experience with USAA is awesome homeowners insurance life insurance automobile insurance I spent 20 years 
active duty, they still refer to me as a gunnery sergeant when I call. Being a USA member because of my service in the military, to pass that on to my kids, something that makes me happy. My name is Roger Zapata and I'm a USA member for life. USAA, we know what it means to serve. Get an insurance quote and see why 92% of our members plan to stay for life. I am so sorry, Miss Maroney. This personal essay is way harder than I thought. It's just not in my nature to brag on myself. Not even a backdoor brag? Oh, what's a backdoor brag? Sneaking something wonderful about yourself into everyday conversation. Like when I tell people, I can't watch musicals because I have perfect pitch. Oh. Some carriers promise unlimited streaming, but then automatically shrink your videos so they're not HD quality. It's not pretty. Really? Switch to Verizon now, buy two Samsung phones, and get a free Samsung 50-inch smart TV. Only on America's Best Network. I asked my dentist if an electric toothbrush was going to clean better than a manual. He said, sure, but don't get just anyone. Get one inspired by dentists. With a round brush head. Go pro with Oral-B. Oral-B's rounded brush head cups your teeth to break up plaque and rotates to sweep it away. And Oral-B delivers a clinically proven superior clean versus Sonicare Diamond Clean. My mouth feels super clean. Oral-B. Know you're getting a superior clean. I'm never going back to a manual brush. This is Sports Center. Sports Center's on your television. My name is John, and his name is John. But we're not related. Butchie Gross Anderson. See how that works. And where's Levy? He's at the uh, the Stanley Cup game, right? Yeah, well, the Sharks just tied it up. We could have overtime, so we'll keep an eye on that. But, of course, you just watched the Cubs win again behind John Lester's complete game performance. Chris Bryant with a long fly ball as well. And he joins us now live here on SportsCenter. Chris, how much do you miss Des Moines? <laughs> I don't. This is this is the place to be right now, that's for sure. It's a pretty cool city. Uh, talk about your home run. Uh, what did you see there? Yeah, I'm... Um, First the bat, he got me out three straight curveballs, and uh, I wasn't going to let him do that again. So I figured I'd see one in the zone early on, and it happened to be uh, the second pitch, and uh, I didn't want to miss that one. So um, made an adjustment between my at-bats, and, you know, I, I, I hit a good one. Chris, you guys had some strikeout concerns last year. Uh, you're doing better this year. How much of a topic of conversation was that with the uh, manager and the hitting coach in the organization? Not at all, actually. Um, they didn't mention any of that to me or any of the players here. Um, it's kind of just, uh, you know, you want to be the best you can be, and, you know, everybody has a flaw in their game, and that was mine last year and plenty of other guys on the team, and I think overall we've been doing a pretty good job of making more contact, and, you know, if, we're gonna, if we do that, we're going to win more games. What's it like to play a baseball game in Wrigley Field these days? Give us a sense of what it's like. It's unbelievable. People, I feel like they're standing up the whole game. I mean, it, it's just fun to come to the park. I mean, I find myself coming to the park earlier and earlier each day, just just to experience this atmosphere. I mean, you know, I'm not going to be able to do this my whole life, so I might as well enjoy it and soak it up and enjoy it with these fans. And you know, they're the best in baseball, and they're they're all around me right now, and it, it's just a blast. Well, you have 38 home runs in 201 career games. Looks like you become the could become the fewest Cub to hit 40 uh, in terms of number of games played. One more question for you, Chris, uh, before you go. What could you guys possibly improve on? What has been the focus of improvement uh, from the uh, coaching staff? You know, they haven't really mentioned much, but, you know, just seeing, you know, these, these last couple of games, I mean, our hitting has been solid the whole year, but I think we've kind of slowed down a little bit. I think today we only had two hits. Yesterday we got one hit. Um, you know, but sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitchers on their team have been doing a good job and keeping us off balance. But I think if we can get the bats going again, I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be where we need to be. What foods in the clubhouse? What do you usually crush after a game? <laughs> Whatever they have. I mean, this new clubhouse we got is unbelievable. So you, it, whatever you think of, you can have it. <laughs> All right, chicken parm. I, I suggest the chicken parm. <laughs> Chris, we'll thanks so much. Nice right, home thank run. You guys. Thank you. You bet. Sweet home, Chicago. I heard that. All bets are on, John. Five foot nine inch, 180 pound Mookie Betts is playing from the championship tees these days. <laughs> he had three home runs Tuesday night. He's at it again Wednesday night. Lead off hitter for the Red Sox. And that's how he begins the game on Wednesday. Right center. Of course, on Tuesday, hit one to left center and right. And then in the second inning, he becomes the first player in baseball history to hit a home run in each of the first two innings in consecutive games. Mookie Betts with 14 homers now on the year. And did you know, John, 
No. He is the first player in Major League Baseball history. This is for this is for the folks in the taverns in Chicago <laughs> who can't hear us. Right. They can read though, yeah. babe. Oh look, Mookie's the first player in baseball history to hit a home run in each of the first two innings on consecutive games. That is, of course, courtesy of the Elias Sports Bureau. Yes. And the Danico Sports Bureau confirms. <laughs> It's one, two, three strikes, you're out. Now go ahead and say that 6,726 times, and you are caught up on Major League Baseball for the month of May. The most strikeouts in any month in the history of the game. Yep, hitters missing baseballs at an astounding rate. Who's to blame? Well, you could start with these two big boys, right? Clayton Kershaw put 65 Ks in the scorebook in May, most by a Dodger pitcher in 51 years. And Chris Carter, he contributed too, whiffing 43 times, the most ever by a Brewer in a single month. So somewhere, Rob Deere weeps or smiles. Um, striking out used to be embarrassing. Now it's gotten so bad that 50 Cent, he struck out two guys last month, and Carl Lewis, he punched out three. So we reset the counter on June 1 and start a new White Sox Mets Day Baseball. Leading off at the top of the first, Adam Eaton strikes out. Five pitches in, we've got 1K, about 1.15 in the afternoon. Then we go to the 10th, we got two runners on in a tie game. Big spot for the White Sox, big spot for Eaton, and again, we have a K. He struck out 305 times in his career, 18 times in May, and as you can see, he is mad at the bat. He is mad at the bat rack. He's mad at everything. All right, Max Scherzer. Yeah, he, he strikes out a lot of people in May. Against the Phillies, you can see 5 and 0, 1.65 ERA. Struck out 60 batters in May. 20 in one game, of course, to tie a major league record. That's a bumpy total. How would June start for old Max facing the Phillies? That's lovely. And he goes straight cheddar on the 0 2. Right down the middle, his first strikeout. Gets a double Herrera. Bottom four, picking apples, making pies. 96 miles an hour. Cameron Rupp a bit late. Next pitch. Oh, it took a little off it. He'll change up his seventh strikeout. Bottom seven now, Peter Borges. Again, go straight, Ched. Gets in the 0 2. And when that's coming, and when it already happened, you gotta, you gotta be ready for a fastball. But he may do that. Pull the string. Eight innings, 11 more Ks for Scherzer. Nationals win 7-2. to two. All right, break out the extra medium sleeveless. It's Giancarlo Stanton time. He whipped 31 times in May in 22 games. Back in the lineup. Missed the last seven games. Right side soreness. Barry Bonds hitting coach looking on. Marlins off to a decent start. 27-25 and 25 under Don Mattingly. Four and a half out of first. Although they are a minus run differential. Did he go, Judd? Yes, he did. Pirates are the wild card leader at 29 and 22, trying to make the postseason for the fourth straight year. It's one nothing fish. All right, bottom five. Mm -hmm. That's what he's been doing. He's been expanding the zone inside, outside. Two two. Oh, that was a pitching. Probably should have hit out on the park. Oh boy, that looked down in a way. And a guy who's been fishing, trying to lay off stuff. That was a ball, and you know how upset that makes him when he's trying to lay off bad pitches. He was 0 for 3, but the Marlins won anyway. 82. All right, just another guy named John on SportsCenter. <laughs> John Cruck, swing hard, you might make contact. Uh, in your estimation, strikeouts are up why in May? Uh, so many quality arms uh, in, in, in start, with the starters, with relievers, with closers. And, you know, it's, the game is different than it was years and years ago where complete games really were, 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 meant something to pitchers. You know, now if you get five innings out of your starter, you're going to get a reliever throwing 100, whether he's righty, lefty, whatever. And, and uh, you know, that, that to me is the biggest difference in the game. There's so many power arms now, and power arms get strikeouts. Yeah, like everybody out of the pen throws 95, 98, high 90s. Um, how about homers, right? I mean, it seems to me guys just swing out of there. Nobody's choking up and protecting the plate with two strikes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a lost art, you know, the two-strike approach. You know, some guys that do it, uh, you know, Daniel Murphy, you see Joey Votto choke up on the bat with two strikes. They're, they're just trying to put the ball in play, try to, try to make something happen. But... Yeah, there's so many home runs hit with two strikes that guys say, you know, why should I give something up? What if he throws a bad pitch? And all I'm trying to do is fight it off the other way. I could be able to hit that ball out of the ballpark. So it's a risk-reward thing. Sometimes you go for it, and it doesn't come out on top. But, 
Yeah, uh, that, that's, <laughs> that, that's not the approach I took, but it's, you know, some guys are getting paid a lot of money to strike out a lot but hit a lot of homers. Yeah, Butch and I were talking about this before we went on. It used to be like you didn't want to strike out. There was some shame. Where would the shame go? Where would the stigma go in striking out? Well, I, you know, I, I see it a lot in coaching youth league. A lot of guys strike, kids, kids strike out a lot. And it's, it's uh, you know, it, again, it goes back to the two-strike approach. But, again, you know, like I, I played with one of the greatest contact hitters in the history of the game, and Tony Gwynn, and he was embarrassed if someone struck him out. Like, he took it like, you know, I, I should get not only sent down, they should kick me out of baseball for striking out against somebody. And guys don't look at it that way now. It's, it's, it's you know, 150 to 200 strikeouts now. You know, most, a lot of guys get that at this, you know, as baseball goes on. You know, back when I was playing, you know, I, I struck out 100 times once, hit 20 homers, and drove in 90-something runs. I thought I had the worst year of my life because I struck out 100 times. Like, how can that happen? I'm not that bad. But it, it doesn't matter anymore. 701 strikeouts and 4,603 plate appearances. I'll be honest, the worst strikeout I ever had in Little League, Amy Anderson got me twice in one game, broke my bat the third time up. Uh, worst strikeout that you can recall? All of them. I, I, like <laughs> I said, it was embarrassing to me to, to strike out. I, I, you know, I always had the approach, and I try to tell kids this, when you go up to the plate, you got to tell yourself, I am so much better than this guy pitching that there's no way that anyone will get me out. Uh, th this was... This wasn't a bad strikeout. I mean, I, look, I could have had the greatest approach in the world I was going to strike out. Some right. things you just know. And, you know, I know I'm overweight, and I know <laughs> no matter how many times I face Randy Johnson, I'm going to strike out. Uh, if I have to okay, say one at bat was my worst strikeout, I, I guess I struck out with the bases loaded in the World Series. That really hurt because we lost by, uh, well, I think Joe Carter hit a home run, if you guys remember that, allegedly. I, I, I do. Go crazy, folks. John Crook, thanks for your time, buddy. Okay, John and John. <laughs> this is who Steph is. He loves these moments. Got to get off a shot of hanging left and you're banged it in at the buzzer. That one should run on Sports Center over and over. Steph Curry putting on a spectacular performance. The NBA Finals begins Thursday night on ABC. Game one in Oakland, California. The series will likely come down to three-point shooting. Shooting them and defending them. As ESPN.com insider Kevin Pelton points out, going back to 2001, 14 of the past 15 finals have been won by the team with the better three-point percentage. Lakers over Celtics in 2010, the one exception. One thing that can affect three-point shooting is nerves or the largeness of the NBA Finals, as Steph Curry can attest. I know we're a better team than we were last year just off of experience and what we've been through in this postseason. Um, better equipped to kind of handle the, the scene of the finals and, um, you know, all that's kind of thrown at you when you get here the first time, it's a whirlwind. I think we're way better equipped this year than last year for what we're going to see and what we're going to go through, especially mentally too. Guys know what to expect. and. Even if it's our 12th to 15th guy, they're going to get called on and they're going to have to produce at some point. We're going, you know, back to back. Um, I think it's um, it's pretty unique. It's pretty unique to um, be in this position and, uh, you know, just to have another opportunity, you know, and another opportunity for guys to write about it, for us to play it, for people to talk about it um, throughout the world. You know, I had a pretty decent year last year and then coming to the finals, it was, it wasn't what I really wanted it to be like. And when you have a, uh, you know, a guy like Kev go down and, then, you know, you're, you're left on a platform with with LeBron and you're expected to perform at a high level and you're not fully healthy and you can't give it all you got, then it, that kind of keeps you up at night, which it did. And now that we can attack it the way that I want to and I know my teammates want to as well. Our basketball power index really doesn't like Cleveland's chances to win the finals. According to BPI, the Cavs have a 25% chance to win the series. That's almost the same percentage. BPI gives the Warriors to win the game, uh, win the series in five games. Overall, the Dubs have a 75% chance to win, of course, and an 11% chance to sweep. Save on great gifts for dad during the Father's Day sale at Bass Pro Shops at BassPro.com. Like men's seersucker shirts for under $12.50. Get an Igloo 48-quart cooler for under $20. Plus, free shipping on orders of $50 or more. What's that? Well, this is my 
equation for success. <laughs> Develop the four P's, mm -hmm. politeness, mm -hmm. patience, mm -hmm. practice, mm -hmm. and promotion. Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, fellas! Do not eat us! I'm a vegan, except for pepperoni. Who are these guys? We've always protected this city. Right now, the world needs us. Go, 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 go! As the new guy in this band of freaky misfits, just roll with it. See you there. See you there. You just sit there. Ninja Turtles, rated PG-13. The new Subway carved turkey and bacon sandwich. What are you most thankful for in that sandwich? The carved turkey. Quality turkey. It's delicious. You want to go halvesies on this? Halvesies? That's a Thanksgiving tradition. The new carved turkey and bacon sandwich. It's day after Thanksgiving good. Subway, fresh is what we do. a memory you'll never release. I can't run. Show us your first catch. Learn more at takemefishing.org. He's beautiful. Playing in the Women's College World Series is a dream come true. I watched ever since I was little, and I was like, I want to be that girl one day. A powerhouse field of contenders look to make their title dreams come true in Oklahoma City. The Women's College World Series begins Thursday at noon on ESPN. In 1925, the people of Tacupa, Mexico, created a beer to celebrate a revolution. Modelo Especial. Today, it's the fastest growing beer in America. Why? Because it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial. Brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. For a taste that's pure gold. The new Chase Freedom Unlimited card earns you unlimited 1.5% cash back on everything you buy. The cash back is unlimited, and you can spend it on anything, like whatever the next ad is selling. Get the new Chase Freedom Unlimited card. I take pictures of sunrises, but with my back pain, I couldn't sleep and get up in time. Then I found Aleve PM. Aleve PM is the only one to combine a safe sleep aid plus the 12-hour pain-relieving strength of Aleve. I'm back. Aleve PM for a better AM. Welcome back to Sports Center as we finish up the 10 o'clock hour here in Connecticut. We give you the top 10 plays. Nats, Phillies, Daniel Murphy pops up, but look at Freddie Galvis. He's going back, he's going back, and he handles that with a plum. Number nine, French Open, Serena. Top of your television. Oh, my. Let's run that ring down. Cross court, forehand. A little sink on it, so it just curls over the net and gets down. Great camera work right there. She won easily. 6-1, 6-1. Number eight, Diamondbacks had.